So in this video, we're going to go through how to seal a tile kitchen backsplash to help you keep your tile and grout protected from any spills or splatters. Now this is particularly important if you have marble, travertine, slate granite, or some other natural stone. And you'll definitely want to seal your kitchen backsplash regularly to make sure it stays in pristine condition. A good sealer, it won't change the appearance of your tile, but it will provide an invisible layer of protection that is absorbed into the pores of the stone. Look at how the water is beating up in the sealed portion of this scrap tile and is absorbed in the unsealed portion. The sealer will help prevent your tile from absorbing something undesirable, like food and water stains. Now, a kitchen backsplash does not generally need to be sealed all that often, unless you got a real messy cook in the house. I personally do it every four to five years to keep the backsplash looking brand new. Now you can do it more often if you like, and it's easy to do and you're not very expensive. So consider a cheap insurance. Now before you seal, it's a good idea to clean your kitchen backsplash. So you're not sealing any dirt and grime. I typically just use some soapy water and first I wash the tiled area with the soapy water and then I use a toothbrush to really scrub at any grimy or stained areas, particularly the grout line behind the sink. Now once washed, I rinse the tile with a wet cloth and then I buff it out with a dry cloth. Once clean, I just leave it overnight to dry. Now this is typically sufficient in my experience. If you need something more robust to clean your kitchen backsplash, then there are also commercial stone cleaning products that you can try and I'll put some links in the description below. Now once your backsplash is clean and dry, clear away all the items off your countertops and then use something to protect any areas you are not sealing. You can use cardboard, towels, plastic sheeting, or drop cloths. I personally like to cover my faucets with a plastic shopping bag and painter's tape is also useful if there are any edges that you're concerned about. Once the surrounding area is protected, then you're gonna need to grab your sealer of choice and then just apply it. Now I'm using Miracle Sealants 511 Impregnator, but there are plenty of other good choices on the market. Now before you apply your sealer, test it out on, some, on an inconspicuous section or some scrap tile left over from the installation. Now assuming there are no issues, then you can begin the application. I'm gonna try this applicator from Miracle Sealants, so I pour some sealant into the plastic packaging that doubles as a tray. There's no real trick to applying the sealer, you just need to wet the surface of the tiles and the grout with the sealer. As you apply the sealer, you just want the surface of the tile damp. Try not to have it dripping down all over. Be sure to pay extra attention to the grout and make sure that it is damp as well. Besides an applicator like this, you can also use a spray bottle, cloth, sponge, or paintbrush. Also, if you're using a cloth to apply, use a plain white cloth so there's no risk of any dyes from the cloth leaching into your tile. Now before you begin, you might want to put on some gloves to protect your hands from the sealer, which I just realized that I forgot to do. Now after trying this applicator on one wall, I wasn't super pleased with it. It was okay, but it was no better than a simple plain white cloth. So my opinion is to just skip the applicator and use a cloth or rag for your backsplash. Then after letting the sealer absorb into the stone for three to five minutes, I come back and I buff off the excess with a dry cloth. I proceeded to do the next portion of the kitchen backsplash, this time applying with a cloth. And after five minutes, coming back with a dry cloth to buff out. So you get the idea, you just wipe on the sealer and then the, and get the surface wet and then wait three to five minutes and then buff it off. Now, one other thing I personally like to do is to give those grout lines around the stove and the sink some extra love and attention. They are in the kitchen stain danger zone. So I take a small foam brush and I really coat those danger area grout lines extra and then wipe them dry after five minutes. And one other thing, if you get any kind of streaking, just reapply the sealer to that section and then wipe it off immediately and that should fix most issues. Now some natural stones are thirstier than others and may require an additional coat. To make sure your tile is sealed, splash a little water on it. If it beads up, then your tile is sealed correctly. If the water does not bead, then you're gonna need to do another coat of sealer and recheck. Check the sealer instructions for any wait times between coats. Now once your kitchen backsplash 
is sealed, it will be most protected after the sealer cures for the next day or two. Now, even though it is sealed and your backsplash is protected, it is still a good idea to wipe away any spills and splatters immediately and regularly clean your backsplash as well. Now just follow these tips and your backsplash should look like new for years to come. If this video helped you, hit the like button for me. If not, leave me a comment and tell me what I could have done better. And be sure to check out some of my other videos for more home improvement and DIY tips. Take care and good luck with your project.